come to lesson 15 of phonics, okay? Again, with the tricky words, do as you've done in the previous lessons where you just choose certain words that your child might be struggling with. As always, the smaller ones or familiar ones that they come across are quite easy to do. Focus on the ones that your child might have difficulty in. So, for example, have, like, some, come, they, and this one, don't allow them, well, don't allow them to use any of their sounds for that, if not, you're going to get was. Okay, so that's was. And then you've got said, were, their, little, one, all, on. Okay, so again, focus on, the, on where your child's needs are, and then hone in on that. Okay? If you feel that your child could benefit from you doing all of it, then by all means, pause the video and allow your child to go through all of them. Onto the phase three sounds. Again, go through it. If you feel that your child is best to go through your, uh, this with your child, because they might need a bit more support there, okay? So as much as I'm pointing just to show you, choose one that works best for you. You can pause it and then talk to your child about it, and then that way you get to know their weaknesses, where their weaknesses are, and then you can focus on that, okay? So just this bit in here, ear, air, your, uh. There are lots of videos around that you can um, access. I put some on those, um, the PowerPoints, so that you know how to um, sound, say some of these sounds, if you're still unfamiliar with it. And again, go through this, pause the video if you feel that your child needs um, a revision on it. If not, focus on one or two. You don't have to go through all of them. It's more just a quick flash. Um, flash. You've got um, you've got your phase two and phase three charts that you can use. So don't worry too much about that. You can go and do it at a different at a different time. Right. So for this one, it's like we've done before. You're, used, you're, you're saying the sentences, you're, saying, you're, reading, you're allowing your child to read the sentence in blue, and then the words in red are words that they can use to substitute. And again, the sentence is in green, the red words are for them to substitute. So here, just join, join me in the pool, pool. Or it could be join them in the pool, or join them in the park, or join me in the park, or keep, it doesn't have to be join, keep me in the coach, okay? So play around with the words, you know, encourage your child to try and come up with a sentence. If they can't, help them with it, and when they finish, encourage them to write all the different combinations as uh, possible, or just get them to do at least one. It could be that you do join me in the pool, and then think I'm just going to get them to change this bit, so join me in the coach or park, choose one that works for you, and try and do different ones. Same with this one as well. So you're substituting the words in red for some of these words in green. Okay? So hopefully, hopefully you, you're able to get on with that. It's like the previous one, so this one should be about the same. So for example, this is a good shop for, rather than chips, it could be coffee, coats, okay? Or this is a bad shop for chips, coffee or coats. Okay? So play around, have a go. Okay? Thank you. This is